Sports Economic Roundup with Ken Shorji of the Daily Economist.com. Welcome back to the Angel Clark Show. It is Friday, folks, and you know what that means, and I know what that means. That means、um, tomorrow is like a Saturday? No, it means it's time for the economic roundup with Ken Georgian. Ken is the national finance examiner for examiner.com. He has the website, thedailyeconomist.com, and he joins us once a week to tell us about, well, What's going on economically and what we need to be paying attention to and what we should have noticed but didn't because、uh, I'm kind of economically illiterate.、Uh, and so, Ken, I get to ask you my favorite question of the week、uh, What's going down in economic groove town, dude, man? Well, for my brothers and sisters in the chat room, doom. Doom. Yeah, you know, we've talked, we, we, we've alliterated on doom and collapse and things like this. Uh, probably for the last several months. And、um, if you remember,、uh, before we came up to the end of the year in Christmas time,、uh, people were asking, you know, when is this going to happen? When are we going to see this stuff? And I said, we wouldn't see anything until after the holiday break. They would ensure that none of this news really got out until the end of the holidays and the end of the retail sales. Well, first three weeks of,、uh, of January have been a doozy. An incredible doozy, and we're not just talking the U.S. It's almost, I, I tell you what, there, we, have, we have going on right now the Davos con- Conference, the、uh, annual Davos Conference where the 85 richest people in the world get together and、uh, determine what they're gonna, how they're going to do、uh, policy going forward for the rest of us three and a half. I'm sorry, half I, I didn't know that there was such a conference. So the 85 richest people in the world. Get together and, and、uh, drink espressos and have scotch and cigars and talk about、uh, how they're going to invest their money?、Uh, they, no, they talk about how governments and economic policy is going to happen for the entire world, i.e., these are the elites. These are the powers that be that everybody talks about. These are the richest people in the world, and they determine. The policies of nations and of billions of people. I mean, does this mean that Alex Jones was right? <laughs> uh, well, that's Bilderberg, but Davos, Davos is like the financial side. Bilderberg's almost like the political side. The secret meetings that they come to, they have their public side, but there's a lot of secret meetings that go on behind the scenes. Okay, so this is the one that they're opening up front about. Yeah, this, yeah, this is Davos. This is, this is a party in Switzerland, skiing,、uh, get together for, you know, to clap each other on the back and. Say how, how much、uh, bonuses they made or how much money they made. And, but unfortunately, this year, there's, a underlying,、um, there's an underlying theme that's being talked about, and they're having a number of different conferences on it. Is it Bitcoin? It's Bitcoin, isn't it? It has nothing to do with Bitcoin. Oh, damn it. We are in the 100th anniversary of the start of World War I. I, oh,、um, that never even clicked in my head, but you're absolutely right. Oh, my goodness. I mean, when you go back to 1813, you have、uh, Napoleon. When you go back to 1713, you had another, I can't think off the top of my head, but you had another great war.、Uh, it's almost like this year, 1913, uh, 2013, uh, 2014, this era. Has been where things come to a climax and a war happens. Well, look at what we've got going on right now. We have Ukraine, which is on fire.、Yes. We have Turkey, which their currency is collapsing.、Yeah. We have Argentina, which is devaluing their currency because their, their entire economy shot. Venezuela has now devalued their currency three times in the past four months, and their stock market is an all time high, but they have massive food shortages. So, so on paper, on paper, they look good, but people have to eat paper now. Right. And if you remember, we've talked about before the Zimbabwe、um, stock market when they were having their hyperinflation, you know, the 100 trillion notes, their stock market was the largest in Africa. Because if people can't buy goods, then they just all put it into the stock market because、yeah. that's all it's, it's good for. So, we're starting to see these inflationary things. And here's where the kicker is 
China, China is on the verge of having a portion of its $23 trillion real estate bubble collapse. Oh, now, you mean, you mean uh, all their, all their ghost cities? All their ghost cities, all the residents, that all the all the employment that they tried to keep going, so that their people wouldn't uh, wouldn't come back. But here's the thing: China is a misnomer. They have two different economies and two different banking systems. They have the one that's out in front, and then they have a shadow banking system. The shadow banking system is completely solvent. That's where all the gold is stored. That's where they have all their preparations for the new global financial system. What they have, what China does have on the front side is they've been borrowing and printing money hand over fist, just like Japan, just like the U.S., just like the Eurozone. The reason is, is because China knows they're going to default on it. They're, they're, not, they're not trying to hide it. They're trying, not trying to deceive people. You know, they're not coming out and saying Bernanke, like Bernanke, and saying, oh, the recovery is fine. We're having GDP growth. It's moderate, the kind of, no. They're coming out and saying, we don't care. Because when everything collapses and there's the great currency reset, all that's going to get washed away anyway, and they're going to bring their shadow banking system to the front. Well, here's the problem. That $23 trillion is not all just uh, money printed, you know, yuan printed from the, the Chinese people's Chinese uh, central bank. There is European, U.S., and global exposure. A lot of Western investment in China. And if that collapses, it's going to cause margin calls all through the system. And this is one of the big reasons why you're seeing Europe collapse in their stock markets. We have fallen 600 points. You know, we only traded four days this week because of the holiday in the, in the stock markets. We dropped 600 points, 320 <laughs> a day. Whoops. <laughs> I mean, I guess, I guess I probably shouldn't laugh at that, right? Like I, I probably, I probably shouldn't laugh at that statement, but it just, you know, uh, we've been predicting this kind of thing for a really long time, or at least you have, and I've been saying you're absolutely right, Ken. I mean, so, so we've known that something like this is going to happen and, and, and what this, this country is doing is not sustainable and what the world it seems is doing is not sustainable. Uh, so, so I mean, Honestly, let's let's be upfront about this. Uh, this is this is just the beginning. Like that, this is just the beginning. All right, we have to step away for just a moment. Uh, the Angel Clark Show will return. More with Ken Short coming up. <laughs> 